Traditions are so beautiful in Nigeria. And you would agree with me that beauty is infused in a lot of our traditions. One of which is the intricate art of the henna tattoo, most common in northern Nigeria. Henna is easily taking the lead and becoming the surprise beauty phenomenon of the season. I'm Jemima Osunde and this is Fashion Insider. I'm just going to go straight into it. You are the henna expert, if I'm yes. to put it that way. How would you describe henna? Would you say it's an art? Would you say it's just a trend at the moment? What would you describe it as? Um, well, henna, henna has been done for centuries in the north. So um, it's usually passed down from generations to generation. And um, it's actually an art. You cannot call it something that is just trending. Mm -hmm. Um, it's gone on for years and years and um, usually people that do henna have learned it from their parents or you know um, acquired the skill along the way but it's something that is artistic um, and it's beautiful <laughs> henna yeah very beautiful henna is common I would say amongst women I'm not sure I've seen yeah. a man well, actually, we've had a few requests for men from men really <laughs> um, not the typical flower designs okay. more okay. like <laughs> symmetric and lines and things like that but um, yeah there's a few men that want to do henna as a temporary tattoo I guess. <laughs> ah I see what you mean. How do you come up with your designs when you're drawing? Um, most times people come in with their design is a bit different from in the north. In the north most times girls just say oh draw something for me oh my, yeah. or I want it this way and things like that but in Lagos we found that people like a very particular like pictures. oh i saw this somewhere <laughs> and i want exactly that so most times they get it from instagram or other celebrities that have done it so yeah so clearly we're doing henna different in lagos from what it's yeah, done in the world. completely different so the designs you come up with yeah. is there like a deeper meaning to them do they represent not something? really so it initially started from brides when they were getting married they would sort of beautify you for your husband and you know it's like doing makeup in the north. Um, it's part of our rituals for getting the bride ready. ready. Or wives that are doing like beauty rituals for their husbands and things like that. Um, but slowly it's become more fashionable for you to just get it done because you want henna. Mm -hmm. And it's more like an art expression and you know. So do you think that reduces the essence or the purpose of the henna? Oh, it's just made it more popular. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's not reducing anything to do with the culture. It's just more people are embracing it now. Mm -hmm. um, I remember when we first started Henna Place, we were not sure if people would embrace, embrace the idea it. because um, as much as it's done in the North, it was normal for everybody to have like a henna person, mm -hmm. just like you have a makeup person, person that comes home. Yes. Everyone sort of had like a henna person that comes home to do it. To do so it. the whole concept of having it in a spa like so, somewhere that you can actually go and get it done. We started that in Lagos and it's been fantastic. It's been, I, even I know it's been fantastic. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're doing so yeah. well. Thank you. You started with one brand. Yeah. And now I'm going to let you say it. How many branches do you have in we Lagos? We have three now. Three we started branches. like with a small branch. In what branch. time frame? Um, about five, will be five years in two months. And you have three so, branches So yeah, we already. had two. We, we, we opened two last year. So every year we sort of set goals for ourselves. We started with a little small, like three bedroom in, in Lekki and mm -hmm. it got so big that we couldn't contain people that were coming in. So we had to get a bigger branch and the goal for that year was to get a bigger branch and then after that to get more branches across Lagos. Three running stores, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, thank Which you. Which brings me to ask, why did you decide to just go into henna? Why did you choose henna as you know, that thing from the north that you want to bring to the rest of Nigeria? I know most people in the north do henna. So it's not anything that is new, but the idea of having it as a spa, nobody had done that. So we wanted to create a place that promotes our culture and for people to actually go. So from henna place, once you walk in, you hear the music playing, you hear like, you see like... There's a vibe. Yeah, so we <laughs> wanted people to experience 
the whole culture, the whole northern culture, like even the scrubs, the waxing, everything yeah. is so normal in the north, but nobody was doing it. So we just thought, why not? I feel like that's a bit surprising because we're in a part of the world where religion and a few other of things course, have caused course. some stigma. Mm -hmm. So you think that people would react, you know, in a certain way to having tattoos on their body. Yeah. Do you, have you faced things like that? Have you had Well, I think at the initial stages, we had people that were like, oh, you know, that northern thing, and you know, there's such a, but I think we started at the perfect time because mm. celebrities were now doing it. Oh, yeah. So Beyonce had done it, Rihanna, Rihanna had, oh, like, yeah. you know, it, it became more in fashion to have henna done. And I know a few people that wanted to have tattoos, so they were coming maybe with like a scripture or my husband's name writes it for writes me it, and yeah. things like that. So it's just an, it's a fun way of expressing yourself, I guess. I can relate to that one because yeah. I cannot endure the pain of a tattoo, but yeah. I definitely get it now. Yeah, and it lasts for two weeks, so two weeks, two weeks and, weeks it's, and out. it's out. What, what goes into making henna? What materials do you use? How do you um, source for them? So we have three different types of henna. Okay. Um, there's the natural one, which is just plants. So they just mix it with water and draw the design you want. Okay. But that comes out a bit reddish. So it doesn't like orange reddish. So it doesn't come out very dark. Okay. So the black henna and white henna are not natural. Okay. So we try to emphasize that. So just in case you have sensitive skin or you have anything, stick to the natural part of it. Don't use the black henna well black henna actually shows better on dark, dark skin. skin and what we've done is we've tried to so sometimes some henna people that are not certified or anything that don't know that much about it use henna that has hydrogen sometimes that burns the skin so what we try to do is get something that is you know as safe as possible and you know we've had very little reactions to that was you going know. to be my yeah. next question. Have you had, you know, clients who have well, come in for henna and yeah. reacted badly? We've had it? one or two, um, but it really hasn't been like very bad reaction. So most times we've kind of put, as I said, we've been open for like five years now. So we've kind of put processes in place and we know what not to do. To do. Um, so for example, if you wax your skin, you've just had halawa or sugar waxing done, um, you're not supposed to do henna immediately. So just things like that, because it, it, it has opened up your pores, pores and yeah, things like that. So your skin is a bit more sensitive. sensitive. And we usually recommend you do a patch test if it's your first time. Mm -hmm. So just do a little patch test at the what's, back of your a, ears. What's a patch test? So they'll just put a little henna for you at the back of your ears. Go and come back the next day. Ah, and, and when you come if back... If we see that there's no reaction, we just put it on like sensitive areas. Okay. And you come back, there's no rashes that has broken out or anything, mm -hmm. then you can have it done. And in the long term, there's no yeah. uh, skin condition that could arise from no. you know, the long term use of henna? No. By it's two saucy. weeks, it's gone. It's safe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Where do you see the henna place? Let me give you five years because look how far you've come in five years. Yeah. In another five years, where do you see the henna place? So as I said, we keep putting goals for ourselves. Um, last year, it was to open one branch. I ended up opening two. <laughs> <laughs> opening two with the um, lucky one, lucky which is one, three. Yes. And this year, I think we really want to do products. So we have things that in the north, we use just as general, like turmeric, things that are used generally for skincare. Yeah. And they're all natural things, and people are not really embracing. So even waxing, um, people go go to spas and get chemical wax done. Our wax is natural; it's just melted sugar. So the advantage is to actually embracing what we already have. Yeah, it's nicely natural packaged sources. now, so people can embrace it more, and people can like say, "Okay, I'm willing to try that." Um, but yeah, for this year, the goal for Henna Place is to do products more introducing okay these are what we use for scrubs these are what we use and it will reach more people in because we have branches only in lagos yeah. so we always have people that maybe from patakot saying oh i want your soap or i want your body scrub how do i get it here to sort of able to branch it. out yeah. so everyone can have a taste of the henna thing. yeah <laughs> people say you can use henna as a hair conditioner you can use it for hair growth mm -hmm. how true is this before i destroy my hair <laughs> you actually can so oh. um, we have a traditional treatment that we do um, in store and we usually mix henna it's called traditional steam treatment treatment and we use oh. henna so it strengthens your hair it makes your hair grow and it's really good actually the same henna you use for the, the um not the black one so okay. the natural one okay the plant um, one you mentioned yes, earlier yes. and it's really really good for your hair actually 
thought it was a lie. No, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> okay. On average, if I walk into the henna place mm -hmm. to get my henna done, mm -hmm. or have the hair um, treatment done, or the sugar wax, I basically want to know how much you charge. <laughs> so um, I know how much to put in my purse. Yeah. It really depends on what you want. I think I've I've done a little bit of research. We're one of the cheapest spas in oh, Lagos. Oh, okay. Um, so with the waxing, I think other spas for a full body is thirty-five thousand. Um, for a full body, in, yeah, I know. <laughs> for a full body in henna place is about ten thousand. So oh. it really depends on. I'm so sorry. What part thirty-five of your waxing. to ten thousand. Yeah, but then we make ours. Difference. So I think supposedly they probably import theirs. Oh, okay. And so. You know. Yeah, but even at that. Yeah, and then henna is two thousand. It really depends on what you want. Facial, we have one of five thousand. Really depends on. So what basically, you want. it's affordable. <laughs> yes, it is. That's music to my ears, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of people will yes. be happy to hear that as well. Okay, I'm coming in now as a customer. I want to get henna done. Mm -hmm. I want you to basically consult for me. What, what am I going to get done? So it Just really depends on what you want. Do you want on your fingers? Do you want a book? Are you like brave enough to do something big and like <laughs> when you say big how big <laughs> well we've had people that have done across their hands oh, so okay, i don't think so, so i probably <laughs> recommend something smaller for you okay um we always say people should look at our instagram and you know instagram handle or check mm -hmm. your henna designs before you come in just so you have a little bit of an idea, idea. of what you want okay um it's just like going to any spa so um the best thing will be to do a little bit of research before mm. you actually get there um, so you know, okay, I have skin problem, I have, I've have been having breakouts, what do I do to do, like, cure it? Or am I just going there for a glue? Am I going there to maintain my skin? Just things like that. So know what you want. I'm smiling. You, come you in. mentioned <laughs> cure to acne, yeah. glow. You have all of that here. Of course. Okay, so this is going to be longer than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be happy to have you. I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> I'm going to get henna done. I'm also going to check out the glow treatment and acne treatment yeah, so let's 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 do this <laughs> i'm ready <laughs> We have finally come to the end of what has been an amazing experience, meeting with exceptional Nigerian creatives who have no doubt contributed immensely to the fashion industry in the country. From fabulous hairstyles to the most gorgeous dresses to body art and of course luxury pieces, it is safe to say that we have explored some of the very best of the Nigerian fashion industry. I hope you have enjoyed our journey as much as I have because it has absolutely been my pleasure and honor being your fashion insider. I'm Jemima and this is Fashion Insider.